So the next topic here is common information security threats. Okay. All right. So let's look at the forward. Information security are often vulnerable and have sensitive, confidential, confidential information that needs to be. Uh, wait, let me get my pen. Need to be communicated. Okay. Uh, therefore, they are under threats in various scenarios and also through various means. Okay, so in this course, we will analyze uh, some of the uh, various uh, threats and also what what is the uh, the channel that they 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 penetrate. Okay, and this course will use some of the case studies about common attacks and introduce the possible threats to the information system. Okay, All right, objective. Upon completion of this course, we should be able to learn about uh, to categorize the information security threats um, to describe the common information security threats means. All right, and uh, we will split this into four sections. And the first section is current in situation of information security threats, and we'll talk about the threats to national uh, sorry the network security and threats to application security and the threats to data transmission and also to the device security. All right, the first topic, endless security incidents. Um so um so even up to up to now, you know, or maybe last year, uh the security threat has uh has never end, you know. Even though we are living in the 21st century, there's so many in, uh, incidents that always happen. Uh, the, so, for the for example, uh, the uh, attack through malicious codes. Um, now this is the one that we just spoke about in the previous slides. I want to cry uh, ransomware. Uh, this uh, attack broke out in 8 p.m. and spread worldwide. Uh, computers infected with WannaCry were vulnerable to attack once they turn it on. Okay, this is uh, one of the. Uh, uh, attack through malicious codes. Um, personal information breach. More than 90% of the telecommunication frauds is targeted fraud conducted using precise information of the of the citizen. Okay, uh, this is actually uh, we often heard about, like for example, incidents about uh, people being scammed by all kinds of um, fancy fancy marketing. Uh, kind of a uh, program and people once they hook into that once they join to the program they have to invest how much and how much and wow um, okay communication process uh, hijacking okay this is uh, sometimes we call this is a man in the middle attack in the 2017 the traffic of user of multiple software application in China was hijacked during the software upgrade okay so the user th thought they were upgrading the software, but they were actually installing some viruses. Okay, so this is due to the uh, uh, software application uh, problem, um, and also the DDoS attack is also one of the the, the uh, attack which is constantly happen. In February 2018, the popular online game Fa Final Fantasy number. Um, this is 14. Suffers a three hours DDoS attack. <laughs> so, which means the uh, sorry for the online uh, gamers, they they couldn't play the games for more than three hours. And uh, also on the 2016, 2016 November, five major Russian banks suffered from a DDoS attack, and and that lasts for two days. It's very serious, and uh, this is this probably will cause the uh, banks uh, to lose millions and millions of dollars. All right, so beginning of the cyber war, okay? Now, uh there is a this um uh, kind of a uh, uh attack called the uh Stuxnet, Stuxnet. Um so let's look at what is this case. Uh in February 2011, so Iran suddenly announced that it was to unload fuel from its first nuclear power station. So previously, the in the industry said Iran will probably only need one year of time to be able to be capable of quickly creating nuclear weapons within a year. However, the uh, Stuxnet attack 
The Stuxnet attack ruined one fifth of the centrifuges of the of that of that uh, of that maybe you can call it the factory Iran. So that causes the postponing of the research for at least two years, during which the time the uh, global landscape had uh, changed. Okay, so this is actually uh, one of the uh, attack before. Um, so what is what is this uh, Stuxnet? Uh, Stuxnet? Stuxnet is one of the most sophisticated cyber weapon in the history. Uh, now this this uh, Stuxnet, uh, the the main primary target is uh, to target the uh, SCADA system. All right. So I think uh, for some of you guys know the SCADA system. Uh, this is a system where uh, most of the um, a lot of factories uh, they they use this system to uh, to basically control everything uh, within the um, the the plant, right? So uh, all the uh, controller units of every single equipment is is managed by the uh, SCADA. Uh, this is one of very popular system uh, in in the past, and uh, so this attack this the Stuxnet actually found the vulnerability of the uh, SCADA and and then launches the attack from there. Um, in also infected 45,000 networks uh, worldwide. Uh, employed multiple attack means. Okay, they have a different way of attack, and uh, it's actually a computer worm. So computer worm means they actually knows how to um, uh, multiply by themselves when the when they affect another machine, and another machine will attack uh, another machine, and how they they can multiply themselves, uh, and also a, a exploit mobile media to implement viruses. Yeah, uh, any mobile tablets, phones. Uh, and it's a it's a first worm capable of target attack of physical infrastructure facilities. Okay, uh, in in this particular case, it's about the energy facilities uh, that uh, that was affected. Stuxnet. Okay, so let's look at the uh, evolution of information security attack. So now we talk about the evolution of the attack. Um, so, so first of all, we have the uh, uh, forms of attack largely unchanged. Uh, current attackers still uses viruses, phishing method, etc., etc., to target the vulnerabilities of the uh, victims. Uh, so, which is much the same uh, in the past. So, most of the uh, some of the, uh, the the attacker today are still pr still using this method, where uh, there are some. Uh, very nice software, crack software, key generator, where you encourage people to download the, the some some key generators to to generate some codes. So the moment you launch the key generator, uh, you are actually being uh, being uh, affected. Okay, um, and uh, more sophisticated attack means a major attack usually requires sophisticated deployment, uh, long term incubation. And a combination of multiple attack method to achieve uh, ultimate goal. Okay, uh, so sometimes uh, some kind of attack uh, will will require uh, a longer time of planning, a longer time incubation, um, and also combine couple methods to achieve the uh, uh, the target goal as well. Um, and also diverse attack purposes. Uh, attack targets range from targeting uh, personal computers to being used to influence the economy, politics, wars, uh, energy, and even uh, the uh, global landscape. Okay, um, So nowadays, social media has been used as uh, also a, a means of uh, uh, attack, li like a weapon, uh, to, um, uh, to, to influence uh, the, 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 politi the political decision uh, or for example, like to to influence a, a, an election as well. So this is also a kind of uh, attack uh, in in the modern in the modern time. It's no longer just by uh, attack which try to steal your money or try to steal your information. Uh, this is to try to steal a, a country uh, of, a, of politics. Okay. Um, so next we talk about the uh, security threats uh, categories. 
Um, so here we have threats to cybersecurity, threats to application security, and threats to data transmission and device security. Uh, so the first category we could uh, give some example like DDoS attack, denial of the distributed denial services attack, uh, network intrusion attack, all right, um, threats to application. We have uh, OS operating system vulnerabilities, uh, viruses such as Trojan horses and and worm and worms. Okay, uh, phishing website. Okay. Uh, data breaches. So we will cover some of the, the some of the attacks in the next few slides. Um, threats to data transmission. So when somebody transmits something, uh, communication traffic being hijacked, man in the middle attack (MITM), which is the acronym for man in the middle attack, unauthorized login to the system, weak security protection for wireless network so these are uh, for the transmission a lot of this happens